Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 3 and today we are going to model an onion. This is the finished object that we are going to make and as always I designed this so we can follow very easily. First of all let's set up an image reference. I will provide a download link for it in the description below. Here we go. Let's rotate it a bit by pressing R. And now we can start adding the basic mesh. This will be a UV sphere this time. So go to mesh, select the UV sphere and add it to your scene. Let's set the values of the segments and the rings to 16. So we have a slightly higher poly count this time, but we want a smooth surface for the onion. Let's match it up to the reference image and squish it down by scaling and pressing Z. This looks fine. So now let's get into the edit mode by pressing the tab key. And we want to add some detail here. By pressing the C key on your keyboard, you can select the circle select tool. We want a flat surface on the bottom of our onion, so we are going to select an edge here. Then we set our 3D cursor to this edge. And we have to set our transform pivot point to 3D cursor. So now if we scale, we get this, this even out flat surface that we want. Let's add an edge loop here. Select these faces. And we want to extrude them individually, so go to face and extrude faces individually. Now by pressing the G key to grab and then Z for the Z axis, we can pull these faces out and by scaling them down we get this interesting shape right here. This is a bit too uniform for my taste, so we're going to randomize it by grabbing some of the faces and pushing them all around. Just like this. So to randomize it even further, we can grab some of the faces down here. And then by pressing the G key and then Z for the Z axis, we can pull them out a little. This is it for the bottom part of the onion. Now let's concentrate on the top. I want to insert two edge loops here by pressing Command and R and then sliding them into place. Repeat this so you have two loop cuts next to each other, just like shown here. And now for some detail we can 
grab some of these faces and extrude them in the z-axis. Here we want to recreate the seedling part of the onion. So by grabbing these faces, extruding them up and scaling them down, we can create a shape to represent this. To look at your model from top view, you can press the blue Z here in the top right corner. And now we can get these faces to the place we want them to be. All right, this looks fine to me. Let's proceed and work on the second ring. I extruded them up a little less than the inner ring. And I will scale them at the top as well. Okay, by pressing one, you can enter the vertex selection mode. And we can grab this inner vertex out a little, just like this. And here the model of your onion is ready, which means we can start with the shading. So let's get into a shading tab and create a new material for our onion. And as for the last vegetables that we modeled, we will need a texture coordinate, a mapping node, and the separate X, Y, and Z node. You can always uh, click on the search and just start typing the name of a node in. And I figured this can be pretty fast as well. With this setup, we have a gradient color for our base color. And by tweaking these handles of our color ramp, we can determine where our gradient will be. I wanted the roots part of the onion to be a little bit of a darker tone.
and I added some of these handles to control the gradient to my liking. The top part of the onion will be a little bit more on the dry side, so I decided to select a lighter brown orange tone here. So because we have a round shape here, I wanted to display this model as smooth by right-clicking and selecting Shade Smooth. And as you can see, the hard edges are lost now. This time we're going to manipulate the roughness with an image texture that I will be providing in the description below. And we will use the stripes image that we used for the leak. Just plug it in the roughness and as you can see we have these highly reflective stripes on our model now. But it is a little bit too harsh so we're going to control the way it is displayed by adding a color ramp and we're tweaking the colors. So the darker your tone is, the more reflective it will be displayed on your model and vice versa. And to give the surface a more organic look, we will add an, a Musgrave texture. And we will combine this tex texture with a bump node. This bump node will be plugged in to the normal and the Musgrave texture must be connected to the height of the bump map. And as you can see we have some nice deformations on our surface. And we've finished shading our onion. And this is how our onion will look rendered. So now it's time for you to duplicate this onion and give it some random shapes like cutting it or uh, give it another gradient or another color and I'd be glad if you showed me your process by tagging me on Twitter or showing me your work on Instagram. If you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!